Hey everybody, this is Forever Your Guru. This is AJ speaking, and this is my first ever video, so, yep, I'm probably talking to nobody. But if you happen to be watching this video sometime in the future, welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a video on The Legend of Zelda Art and Artifacts. Yes, this is the Collector's Edition book that came out today. February 23rd, um, it's a wonderful book, it is uh, got over 200 and something different pages of collectible artwork, um, snippets into the creation of characters and designs for worlds, overworlds, dungeons, different things like that. Um, it is also, um, for you to know, put out by Dark Horse Comics, uh, one of, in my opinion, one of the best comic uh, publishers around. So hopefully that lends some credibility to the book and we will get into it. I will be showing you some of the artwork, um, how big the book is, uh, how it's set up, and uh, hopefully maybe you'll, um, you'll think about buying the book too. I think it's a great book. All right, let's get into it. The first section, of which there are three that the book is mainly broken up into, is called the Masterpiece Gallery. It's illustrations from The Legend of Zelda to Triforce Heroes. Most people that have played Zelda through the years understand that there is just a slew of actual Zelda games. Now, this whole first section seems to be a lot of promo art, uh, some some of them not seen before art, a couple of like artist renditions, rough sketches, different things about how they they tried to think that something would look like before it was actually created, and you actually get to see some of the before and then finals of what they did. A lot of this is really cool. Some of it you just can't find pretty much anywhere else, especially all in one collection. It's really nice. Um, okay, let's see. The next section is called Character Illustrations. This one is pretty much, if it was a character or a place or an item, it's going to be in this section. Uh, character renditions, all kinds of different artwork, uh, some of the stylings, different things like that are going to be found here. Uh, even some more of the cartoony looking, like what we saw in the 80s for the cartoons. Uh, if you notice, you can see what it was. And then more of a kind of finalized what happened whenever we saw it in the cartoons. Uh, some of these, these are definitely 80s, okay? I'm sorry that I'm flashing through a lot of these, but I also don't want to get slapped by any type of copyrights on my first video. But uh, as you can see, there's tons of them. Um, we have an item section. So almost every single item that can be found in different types of Zelda games or the cartoons are going to be found inside the book, okay? See? All kinds of really, really neat ones. Uh, that's one of my favorite pictures, actually, in the book right there. Wonderful picture. More items. That should look familiar to some people. Good old Ganon. All right, some Wind Waker stuff. We're just going to go through this. If you guys really want a hard look at some of this stuff, I just encourage you to get the book. Uh, it's actually not that expensive. Um, depending on your area, I believe it's anywhere between $25 to $32. Uh, if you get it from Amazon and you have Prime, obviously it's uh, free two-day shipping. Okay, last section. Temple of Time, the first 30 years. Actually, it wasn't the last section. There's a couple of secret sections which are really, really neat. 
So as you can see here, they start showing a lot of the animation sprites. I love the pixel art. There's an entire section of this book just devoted to pixel art. Once you pass the pixel art going back towards the beginning of the book, you can see every single one, and I have to be fast on these, sorry guys, I can't sit there on this page, but all of those <laughs> were what the, uh, the game cases looked like when they originally came out, which is amazing. Um, bonus galleries, just different types of artwork, different things like that. Um, and one section that we should all be very, very familiar with, because it's the new game that everyone's talking about, which is coming out on March 3rd. Uh, by the way, I am having a special edition, not the ultimate special, but the one that, does, the one that doesn't come with the sword, um, but still comes with everything else. I'll be doing an unboxing of that one, Breath of the Wild. Um, so stay tuned for that. Right after that, we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Breath of the Wild. Um, as well, because I am not just a Nintendo fanboy, a uh, PS4 game that's coming out, I believe, February 28th. Uh, probably some of you have heard it, Horizon Zero Dawn. I do have the Ultimate Collector's Edition coming out for that. And we will be doing an unboxing of that one, plus a Let's Play of that. Uh, I love some of this artwork from the Breath of the Wild. It's just, unfortunately, way too short. I think you only get like three or four pages. Okay. Um, these are all different quotes and uh, background history on some of the people that uh, had a part in actual Zelda creation games. Um, actually, there is a ton of stuff in this section. Uh, some stuff that I honestly did not know, and I'm sure that uh, some of you wouldn't have known either. And uh, it's a really good read, actually. It's uh, it's a pretty large section, but uh, worth your time. All right. Well, that's that's it. That's it. Here's the back of the book. Okay. It's like I like I said. It is really really thick. I mean, you're getting a lot out of it, if the camera will focus. You're getting a lot out of this uh, edition here, uh, much larger than some of the other ones that I've gotten. And if you notice, just like I said, it is put out by Dark Horse and Nintendo. It's a wonderful book. Guys, I encourage you, please go pick this up. Um, do some Dark Horse credit there, you know? Give them the props that they deserve on some of these things so that they will go out and continuously keep making these. Um, but... With all that, thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned. Um, like I said, March, March 3rd, Breath of the Wild comes out. We'll have an unboxing on that collector's edition, plus a Let's Play right after. Uh, we will also be having the, uh, uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn on the 28th of February when it comes out. I will be trying to get that video up as fast as possible, so look for it in the AM on the uh, 28th. Um, as always, you've probably heard this from everybody else, but please hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, I desperately need it because you guys will probably be the first subscribers to my videos. Um, and if you liked it, hopefully there'll be more. All right, thanks.